We got to talk right tackle. Uh, you brought up how McGlinchey was a question mark with that quad injury for sure. Mm-hmm. Man, what are the what's the likelihood he starts week one? And if he doesn't, you're the GM. Who would you right now put at that right tackle spot that's on the roster? That's why you make I'm the not big a, bucks, man. Come on. Yeah, I'm not a doctor, so I unfortunately can't give like a medically driven answer of like when he'll be back. I of course we've heard all the the info to come out about how serious of an injury it is, um, how there is a likelihood that he could potentially not be back to what he was before the injury, and that's always going to give you a bit of concern. Um, so the hope is is that he is coming back and trending towards being back. I've talked to him. He said he's he's trying to come back the best that he can be. Um, but again, it, we can all say that about a lo- lot of things that we want to do. But if we're having a physical ailment that just an inhibiting us from doing that, then that's a different story. So I think with him, it's it's a legitimate TBD. I think it's yeah. we don't necessarily know. And if you're a front office GM or someone who's putting together a team and you have a TBD at a potential starting position with, with Trey Lance have and a new QB plan. coming in. You have to have a backup plan. And whether you believe that's Colton McKivitz, whether you believe that's Jalen Moore, maybe just in school, uh, or you want to turn to the draft, or your Galaxy branding this, and you're like, you know what? We're going to kick Brunskill out to right tackle. <laughs> We're going to take one of these guys, put him at interior. You know, there's there's a bunch of different ways you can go about it. But if I had to look at it from a GM perspective, I am concerned, and I am making backup plans for McGlinchey to not be the D, the day one week one starter uh, yeah. because you kind of have to at this point. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Uh, I just want to say thanks for watching and supporting the 49ers Rush podcast channel. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do so in the middle of your screen now. And here are a few extra videos if you want to check that out for some more 49ers content. Just want to say thank you. And as always, stay strong, faithful.